So we're ready to cut our pieces out of our wood now. So we're gonna need a couple of things real quick. We're gonna need our X-Acto knife. We're gonna need a pair of scissors, that's optional. And we obviously need our materials. So now that we're ready, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna take our X-Acto knife. Make sure you're wearing your goggles. We're gonna take our X-Acto knife. And I've got a little bit of my wing already cut out, but I wanna make sure that I'm being very exact when I do this. The reason being is that just a small variation could end up changing a lot about how our plane can fly, how long it can fly. We want to make sure we can be as exact as possible. Now, quick note about cutting through our balsa wood with an exacto knife. If we're cutting along the grain, it's going to be a lot easier, but also you don't have to cut it all in one fell swoop. To be exact, you might need to go over it a couple more times and be gentle with it. That way we know we're making a good and precise cut. So I'm going to be real easy. Be very patient. And there we go. Now I'm almost done. So I'm going to cut get a good angle sometimes you gotta twist this around a little bit and sometimes you're gonna have to move your stuff I'm gonna move this pin needle real quick and here we go cut that you can see sometimes the papers are always gonna agree so you gotta make sure you put it in a good place I'm gonna cut it a couple more times make sure I get a good smooth cut and there we go all right, all right. now I'm done cutting my wing, but I need to make sure, priority number one, to cap my X-Acto knife once I am done. Because now I'm gonna move on to scissors. We can use scissors or we could use our X-Acto knife. I'm gonna choose to use scissors because it can be quick and sometimes in class, we don't have enough X-Acto knives and so scissors are another way to do it. The tricky thing about the scissors is that this wood is very, very fragile, and so we need to make sure that we are cutting with the base of our scissors and not the tips. That way we don't run a risk of splintering the wood. So I'm gonna cut our vertical stabilizer now. And one thing to note, as you're cutting, don't put a whole lot of pressure. You see how I'm carrying this? Because this wood is very thin. If that happens, it can break, and that's very frustrating. So, make sure you have a nice, gentle grip. It's still firm, but that it won't break the wood. And then, you have your vertical stabilizer. So, I'm going to pin that down. And once we're done cutting everything out of the wood, we also have this triangle that we cut out in the first step. And what we're going to do is use this triangle. We're going to put it in the corner of our foam board. I'm going to put it in just like this. And I'll pin it so that you can kind of tell where it is. Remember, this corner is going to help us when we glue it to support the wing at the exact angle we made it in our design. Even if we have a tip dihedral or a regular dihedral. Now that we're done with that, we can move on to the next step, which is sanding our wood.